Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I am the product manager on LaunchBox and no stream this week unfortunately, but I have decided to create this video for all of you guys this Friday so that I can teach you a little bit of theming even when I'm away. And today what I wanted to do was show you guys how you can build the ultimate theme, your ultimate theme without needing to know any uh, XAML code whatsoever. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the scenario today of um, as long as a theme has been created using the community theme creator, you can take any theme, load it into the community theme creator, and then make any changes that you want. So in our scenario, we're going to take, uh, let's say I like platform banner box view but I wanted to use a different games view. In this case, uh, I've navigated to tilt. Let's say I love the tilt game view, but uh, I, I want those banners in banner box. You can do that and I'll show you how. So with tilt, most authors, now this is just sort of a disclaimer, the project, the community theme creator project files required for the community theme creator is not the same as the published theme files. They're two different sets of files, but most authors that create themes within the community theme creator are nice enough to provide the community theme creator project files to you so that you can then load it up in the community theme creator yourself, make any changes and then publish them. Other than the fact that you're going to be creating your own personalized version of a theme, uh, the other benefits are that when you do the publish actions, action, so when you publish your theme to Big Box within the community theme creator, uh, you will get the most up to date uh, plugins, uh, the most up to date code generator. Uh, you get basically the newest version of that theme that you possibly can get with all the fixes and, and improvements that come with it. So uh, when you do download new versions of the community theme creator, I mean, that's the benefit. You will always be updated. Basically your theme will always be updated. So in saying all of that, I mean, you can see here with the download file, this is what I normally do. Other theme creators might do something different, but you can see I can, I provide two different files. One's the actual theme that you would load into big box. And the other one is the project files for community theme creator. So in this case, I would want to download this, you know, what does this look like? This looks like it's got a folder. The folder is the project itself. And if you go inside, you'll see a bunch of text files. That's how you know that you download the project files uh, other than the title, the text files themselves are uh, not within the theme so the that's something that you can use to differentiate the two okay so i've got the tilt theme i'm just sort of showing you what it would be like if you were to download it you would take the download files so let me just I guess take this one you would navigate to your community theme creator folder you would go into my theme projects and you can see there's a folder for every single theme that you have the default community theme creator will come with, I think one, maybe two default themes. Okay. So I'll just replace that. I must've already had a, a tilt folder in there. So as that's going, I can then open the community theme creator. Oh, so it finished. Let's give it some time. And you can see here, here's banner box. And let me just give you a little refresher here. If you don't know, big box has a set number of views that you can use to create themes for each view represents either a platform view or a games view that you can, uh, you know, customize. There's also a system view and some marquee views. So what you'd want to do is, so in this scenario, I, I can see if I click this link at the bottom, it opens up this window, which showcases me all the views that I'm able to create for big box. The ones 
that have icons next to them means that this theme has something within that view. The ones that don't have anything, there's nothing there. Uh, the one that's bold is the view that I'm currently on. So if I create, if I clicked on one that didn't have an icon, you'll just see a gray background and uh, I can edit the view and start adding stuff to it if I wanted to. Uh, in this case, I want to go to platform wheel. Maybe I wanted to copy platform wheel too. Maybe that's my favorite. You can see here that these dots also represent the exact same thing. Uh, from left to right, there's the system view, there's the cover flow games view, the ones that the circles that are solid have the information inside of them already. Uh, the ones that are just uh, an outline don't have anything within them. So all I have to do if I wanted to copy this to another theme is I would right click here, configuration default, and just hit copy. Copies it to this community theme creator clipboard and now I can switch themes. So let's say I want to go to tilt. Now, one thing that I'd want to do first is you want to create your own theme. So I'm going to use tilt as my base for my own theme. I'm going to duplicate this theme. And I, I don't know, I'll call it tilt my or tilt banner box, something like that, I guess. And we'll uh, press OK. It'll make a duplicate of my theme and uh, create brand new folder structure, brand new files, bring it all over. And uh, all I have to do is navigate. Maybe I don't want to put it in platform wheel two again. Maybe I want to put it in platform wheel one. So I'll click that right click default and paste. And voila, the entire banner box wheels came with it. Now in saying that there's one more step that we have to do just because I know that this platform wheels take uh, special banners that the theme would be packaged with. Now I'm going to have to manually bring those over. So let's go see what that looks like. So if I enter into, let's see, I go into this new window. We'll close this for now. We'll go into big box media overrides images. And I believe they're somewhere in here, like this folder. There it is. So this theme will utilize these banners. So now I just have to copy them into the same spot as tilt my tilt banner box theme. platform and banners. Okay, so I'll just copy, paste them here. There's all the banner box banners. Don't need the uh, text file to come with it. Okay, let's head back into the community theme creator. Now, what if you just had like an element or two that you wanted to bring over into your theme from another theme. Well, you can do that as well. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So let's say I really love the Neon Deluxe Arcade Final and there's something in there that I love. Uh, you know, Mr. Retrolust spent a lot of time and, and it looks beautiful. So I don't know, maybe I really like the way that he did this, uh, the clear logo and the effect uh, the drop shadow on the back. So I would just edit the the view and I would find that element somewhere in this. So I'd go down, uh, oh, game clear logo. I click on it. I can see that it's highlighted. Uh, so I just right click copy, you know, don't need to save this. I'm going to come back over to my tilt theme. Nope. It was the tilt banner box theme. I'll navigate to my games view that I want to place the element into. Oh, well, here we go. You know, maybe. And there's two ways to paste this in here. So let's say I want to paste here. Uh, I can paste, which will just place the element into my theme, I believe somewhere in the center, or I can paste in place, which would basically put it in the same exact spot that it was in 
uh, the Neon Deluxe arcade theme. Uh, I mean, let's show you what that would look like. Paste in place, you can see it goes right up here. Now, where do I want it? Maybe I just want like a almost like a little watermark or something like that. Maybe in the corner here. Something like that. And if it's a watermark, I, I, I guess we're going to need it uh, a little faded out. Okay, so... And we save that. And that's how you bring over elements. Now, just so that we can... Uh, we, we've got our specialized theme. We've got our platform wheels. Our platform wheel banner box view. Coupled with the textless view of tilt with an element from neon deluxe so now i'm going to click up here and all i have to do is publish my theme i wait for uh, the theme to finish publishing which is done and now let's hop into big box and see what it looks like All right, let's bypass my video by pressing any button. Oh, let's pretend uh, we're in any theme. We're going to switch over to tilt banner box. We'll select it. Optionally, you may have to. Let's see if I'm going to have to do it in this case. Yeah, so I may have to go into options and clear the image cache because it might have uh, saved images in your cache for uh, different images from a different theme. So I'm just going to say like, we'll clear out whatever's in the cache and now rebuild it based on uh, my new theme. And voila, there's, there's my uh, banner box view that I'd want. You know, it looks, looks nice and spiffy. And let's say I go into Super Nintendo. I go in there and all of a sudden I've got my customized version of Tilt. Nice and, and wonderful. <laughs> and that's how you build your own custom theme. Now that I have it saved within the Community Theme Creator, if every time that I upgrade the Community Theme Creator, maybe every month, every few months, I can then republish that same exact theme with those files and get any benefit that the community theme creator has built in uh, any fixes all that good stuff and uh, always be up to date i can always go back in make any changes that i want to my custom theme just the way that i like it and uh, you know it simplifies it for you allows you to be the person that controls your own destiny as it will as it may uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll be back in a few Fridays. So hope to see you there in the next uh, theme workshop. And uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. We'll see you later. Take care, everyone.